One day, Brer Bear decided to set out and dig himself a store of peanuts for the winter. Brer Rabbit, hiding in the bushes, saw Brer Bacar with his donkey and his cart and heard him calling out to his missus that he would be back at the end of the day with a cartload of the best peanuts around. Brer Rabbit thought to himself that he and his missus needed a pile of peanuts for the winter, too. And Brer Rabbit wasn't one to do a lot of work if he thought he could get someone else to do it for him. So, he rotsed around his burrow and found a red kerchief that he wrapped around high neck. He tied it tightly, ran out to where Brer Bear would be passing by, and lay down in the middle of the road. Brer Bacar spent a very busy day gathering nuts and was coming home with a fill art when he saw Brer Rabbit ing in the road. Why, that looks like Brer Rabbit dead in the road with his throat. Cut wide open, said Brer Bear. Hmm, the mice sure will be happy when I tell her I've got peanuts and a rabbit for rabbit stew. Brer Bear got down from his cart, picked up Brer Rabbit, and threw him in the back with the load of peanuts. No sooner was Brer Bear's back turned than Brer Rabbit sprang up and jumped out of the cart. With Brer Bear's entire load of peanuts, Brer Bear didn't notice a thing. Brer pulled up to the tree where he and Mrs. Bear had set up house and called out, Come on out, Mrs. It was a great day. Peanuts here. Rabbit there. Mrs. Bacar shuffled out and looked in the cart where she could see only a few peanuts rolling around. She scraped head her head, looked grumpily around and said, Peanuts gone, rabbit, too. He following day, Brer Bear stared out again. Don't lose those peanuts today. It's getting late in the year, Mrs. Bear called out. Meanwhile, Brer Fox, who had been lurking in the bushes and had seen Brer Rabbit's trick, decided that a good trick was worth repeating. I'll do the same thing, he said to himself and went looking for a red kerchief he could tie around his neck. Brer Fox wasn't nearly as smart as everyone thought though. He went right to the very same place in the road where Brer Bear had found Brer Rabbit. He lay down just like Brer Rabbit had and waited. A little while later, Brer Bear came around that corner in the road and saw Brer Fox lying there. Why, there's that thief from yesterday. Looks like somebody done run him over but good this time. Mysis Bear will have meat stew for sure today. Saying this, he climbed down and lifted up Brer Fox. Oh boy, thought Brer Fox to himself. Here come my canuts. But instead of throwing Brer Fox Edo the back of the cart, Brer Bear sung him around and bashed him against the cart's wheel. You look mighty dead to me, Brer Bear muttered to himself. But today I'm just going to make sure. Poor Brer Fox just barely managed to escape Brer Bear's licking. It just goes to show that you can't get away with the same trick twice.